Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. We gather this morning for Lauds, or morning prayer, with Invitatory. And today is Monday in the fourth week of Advent, or the memorial of St. Peter Canisius. He was a priest and he is a doctor of the church. So let us begin. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Lord, the Lord, rather, is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come, the Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship. Let us worship him. Glory to the... Gl <laughs> Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Meribah and Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger that they shall not enter into my rest. Come, the Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Our hymn is on page 1068 of, the, of volume 1 in the four volume set. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Joyfully shout, all you on earth, give praise to the glory of God, and with a hymn, sing out his glorious praise. Hallelujah. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let all the earth kneel in his sight, extolling his marvelous fame. Honor his name in the highest heaven, give praise. Hallelujah. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come forth and see all the great works that God has brought forth by his might. Fall on your knees before his glorious throne. Hallelujah. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory and thanks be to the Father, honor and praise to the Son, and to the Spirit, source of life and of love. Hallelujah. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord, the ruler over the kings of the earth, will come. Blessed are they who are ready to go and welcome him. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth, or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. In you turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers. By evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger. Our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years or eighty for those who are strong. And most of, the, of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. 
in the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, send your mercy and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil. And happy to be known as companions of your Son, we will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nations. The Lord, the ruler over the kings of the earth, will come. Blessed are they who are ready to go and welcome him. Sing a new song to the Lord. Proclaim his praises to the ends of the earth. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steep and its cities cry out, the villages where Kidar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Zila exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero. Like a warrior, he stirs up his order. He shouts out his battle cry. Against his enemies, he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey by paths unknown. I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sing a new song to the Lord. Proclaim his praises to the ends of the earth. When the Son of Man comes to earth, do, do you think he will find faith in men's hearts? Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his names, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills in heaven, on earth, and in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, make, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O, G o Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness were struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Where three, or two, rather, where two or three gather in your name, Lord, you promise to be with them and share their fellowship. Look down upon your family gathered here in your name, and graciously pour out your blessings upon us. When the Son of Man comes to earth, do you think he will find faith in men's hearts? A reading from Isaiah chapter 7. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall be living on curds and honey and choose the good. A moment of reflection Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light will come, Jerusalem.
the Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see His glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. There is no need to be afraid. In five days our Lord will come to us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. There is no need to be afraid. In five days our Lord will come to us. To Jesus Christ our Lord, who came among us in his mercy, let us constantly cry out with joy, Come, Lord Jesus. You came from the Father to take on our human nature. Now set free what has harmed in us by sin. Come, Lord Jesus. One day you will come again in glory to your chosen people. Come to us today and help us sinners to recognize your mercy and tender love. Come, Lord Jesus. We glory in praising you, Lord Jesus. Come and bring us your salvation. Come, Lord Jesus. Through faith you led us into light. May we reveal your justice through our deeds. Come, Lord Jesus. And now let us pray as the Lord told us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.